All right, and we're recording. Hey, gang, Andy here, and welcome to a brand new Bliggity Vlog. That's right. Hell is frozen over once again, baby. And your boy, the Andy San Samadeshta, is back at it again on the YouTubes. So it's been a while. Uh, but I wanted to dust off the old gear to talk about something that's been on my mind a lot over these past several months now. And that is the turnover on YouTube. Whether you want to call it a retirement or leaving the platform or whatever the case. Since YouTube began, there's been channels that have been coming and going. There's always been some sense of turnover on YouTube. And lately though, it's really been hitting me hard because I see a lot of that turnover happening, not for new channels, but for older, more established ones. And it definitely hits different when a channel you've been watching for well over a decade decides to call it quits versus a channel that's been up and running for a few months and they decide, eh, I can't really hack YouTube anymore, so bye. <laughs> you know, it's a little different. And today I saw on a good friend of mine, uh, the JT Suits YouTube channel, a uh, fellow US Navy veteran like myself, I saw that he put out a video talking about his leaving of YouTube. And he said it was down to a lot of different factors, mostly time and energy is the reason he's not able to make YouTube videos consistently anymore. Um, for those who don't know, he's going back to school and he's also got a kid and he's got a job and a bunch of other stuff that we don't really know about. But basically his time and his energy is already spent in other areas of life. And it's just harder and harder for him to get on YouTube and uh, make the content that he's used to making. Sound familiar? <laughs> While our reasons for not making content may be different, um, I do see a lot of similarities between the reasons why JT is now leaving the platform uh, versus my extended hiatuses. Hiatai? I don't know what you call multiple hiatus. But basically I haven't been uploading as much videos as I used to. I mean, if you just go back and look at the amount of uploads I did just last year versus now, and it's shocking to say the least. Now, granted, I've tried to maintain something here on YouTube, you know, through either community posts or through going live, and that's been nice, but it hasn't been quite the same as just sitting down here on my bed, making a good old video, making that good old quality content, and just having a chat with y'all about things. You know, as, as you guys know, um, since starting my full-time job last year in September, so it's been over a year now, it's been getting harder and harder for me to make videos on here like I did before. And it is down to time and energy, mainly. Um, just when I get home from work, uh, it's just so hard for me to still muster the energy to get in front of a camera, get it all set up, and talk about stuff without sounding too tired, you know? And it's also hard to like get out and, and shoot stuff as well because now I pretty much only have the weekends or holidays to go out and shoot things. And again, it's just getting harder and harder to, to make the kind of content that I want to. And for me, I also want to make better edited content because you know I also market myself as a video editor so if my content's not that good, you know, from a quality perspective, it it just kind of irks me <laughs> a little bit, and I almost feel like a, like an imposter marketing myself as a video editor if my own shit's not that good, you know. Now, of course, I do have to manage my expectations. You know, I can't make it at Chris Broad levels of quality. You know, I don't have the gear that he has or the budget that he has or quite frankly the time and energy as I've said before it's been a continuing theme I don't have that to to put towards my videos so I do have to taper my expectations somewhat but at the same time 
I do want to at least put out a, a product, a video, some content, whatever you want to call it. I do want to put something out there that I can be proud of and can look back and be like, yeah, I made that. And with all the different uh, commitments I've been having lately, it's just getting harder and harder for me to just sit down like this and make a video talking about not necessarily this subject in particular, but uh, just talking about life in Japan and stuff like that. You know, like I said, I have the full-time job, which is the main thing in my life right now. Um, I also have editing videos. I've been working for Eric Surf 6 on the Eric Mealtime channel for, gosh, it's gotta be like six, seven years at this point as his main editor. Uh, I've also recently picked up another editing gig for um, somebody I met through Eric, actually. So we're going to be putting out videos very soon. I'm going to be working a lot over this weekend, in fact, on them. And yeah, I also like to get out and hang out with my friends, um, do networking events when available, and also like to explore more of my local area here in the Shonan Coast of Kanagawa here in Japan. And I've also been getting back into photography as well, just because I find it a bit easier to make stuff for photography versus videos, just because it's less editing overall. And I can just do it from my phone or do it here on the computer and, you know, make something of what I feel is uh, good quality and a lot less time than I can for videos. And the problem with that is though, the Instagram algorithm has changed significantly over the years and they don't really care for the old school Instagrammer just making cool shots and putting all in all the hashtags and doing all this, that and the other. Uh, Instagram doesn't really care about that stuff anymore. All they care about is reels. That's the, uh, the new hotness as it is. And aside from repurposing my old stuff on YouTube or whatever, I don't really have an interest in making reels or anything like that. Um, so it's just kind of put me in a bit of a quandary as far as what I want to do on YouTube and my own mortality on YouTube, as it were. And with this recent um, bowing out of you know my good friend JT from JT Suits, it's really got me questioning a lot of things and I know I'm probably going to get some comments saying well Andy you know we understand you have other commitments so just you know upload whenever you want whenever you are able to I should say and you know I'm very uh, glad and appreciative of my audience being so understanding of stuff like that because YouTube as a whole mostly younger crowds they don't have and quite frankly don't understand the commitments that uh, us older folks outside the 18 to 34 demographic will say the kind of commitments that we have and have to honor but that being said um, I do want to say for the record I'm not giving up on YouTube I still love making content I mean hell one of the reasons I'm not making my own content as much is because I'm too busy making other people's content so if, if that doesn't tell you how much I love making content. I don't know what the hell does, but it's getting harder and harder for me to sit down like this and make my own stuff. I mean, I'm sacrificing time that I could be using to make more money making other people's videos and putting that stuff out there versus just sitting down here and talking to you guys and making a video that maybe only 100, maybe 200 people would like or would watch. I should say. So it's that's another thing as well. It's just what do you want to put your time towards? Yeah, you know, I'm just repeating myself at this point, but it's 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 difficult to, to manage all that, we'll say. But you know, like I said, I don't have any intention of quitting YouTube. Uh, I still want to keep doing YouTube as, as much as I'm able to for myself as well as for others. And even if it means really slowing down the, uh, the making of the videos and things like that, then it is what it is. And I'm sorry I'm not able to to make as many videos as I used to. I just 
quite frankly, I have too much shit going on <laughs> outside of YouTube to really make it a consistent thing. So, yeah, with that said, I just want to wish JT all the best in his future non-YouTube endeavors. And I hope it's, it's more of a hiatus than a final goodbye. Happy trails, bud. We'll give uh, one more papa a hug for me. So, anyway, guys, with all that said, this is Andy. Sign up for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Simple life and happier times, spirits of past.